Welcome everybody to the Recipe Roundup Live inaugural cooking demonstration. Today we're going to be showing you how to make pineapple salsa, guacamole, and chips. We've chosen this because it's one of our, it's two, several of our favorite recipes that we use in the summer. It's delicious, it's colorful, and it's fun. So let me introduce you to who we are. My name is Dr. Ken Granin. I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Monmouth Medical Center, and I brought my boss with me, my wife, Wendy. <laughs> Not the boss, just the wife. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going Welcome to start. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. So we're going to start off with pineapple salsa. Wendy? We are going to begin. This is one of our favorites. This is great for everybody. The children love it. This gives you vitamins and minerals and all good things, vegetables and fruit. We're going to be working with almost all vegetables and fruit mm -hmm. today. But it's all here prepared in advance, but we will show you what some of these look like whole before they were chopped up. Okay, we're going to start with two Roma tomatoes. Roma tomato is also called a plum tomato. Okay, it looks like a plum, but it's red and it's a tomato. And what we do is you're going to cut them in half, and you're going to take out the seeds, and you're going to dice the tomatoes. So it looks something like that. After that, we're going to take a quarter of a pineapple. Obviously, fresh is always best. Okay, but you can use canned pineapple if you rinse it and then you can use that as well. And this is a quarter of a pineapple that is diced. Okay. Absolutely, and the, the pineapple actually is a tropical fruit. And it's interesting, it comes from South America, and it's very high in vitamin C and manganese, which is a vitamin that we use for connective tissue and bones as well. And now we're gonna move on to red onion. And we have about a half of a red onion that's diced tiny pieces, and we're gonna put this in. Now, onions are really cool. They were actually one of the first, um, let's say, vegetables that have ever been used in, in, the, in the world. 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians loved onions. Onions are basically mostly water, believe it or not. Very low in calories, and this is really cool. They lower triglycerides and cholesterol, too. Next, we're going to put in our fresh lime juice. Okay, so we have... Lime's already done here. Well, let's show them how we would do this before we cut Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So the lime, we would press the lime, okay, by rolling it like this. It allows for further, a lot of expression of the juices this way. And then, Wendy? And then you're going to cut it in half and do what I usually do, which is you squeeze it this way, or you can use the juicer, which uh, I'm going to squeeze it. Let's see. And now we have my favorite, which is... Um, cilantro. Okay, we're going to have one cup of chopped cilantro. Cilantro is like a superfood. It has all kinds of uh, potassium, it has iron, it has all kinds of things in it, um, but I love the smell. You can use cilantro in a salad. When you're making a green salad, throw it in there and it'll give it an unbelievably fresh flavor. And we're gonna put the cilantro in and this gives it that Mexican, that beautiful fiesta, delicious flavor. Okay, we got the cilantro. Cilantro also reduces your sugar. But you have to eat a lot of it to do that, but it's still, it's a, it's a very healthy ingredient. A half of a red or yellow pepper diced. What a lot of people don't realize is a pepper is actually a fruit, but it's always seen in the vegetable aisle. So you're going to cut it in half, and you're going to scoop out uh, the seeds and the core and dice it, as Jen has done here. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> and we're going to put that in. And now we're going to be doing salt and pepper to taste. You do, how about pepper? I'll Fine. do salt. Here's the salt. Okay. About a half of a teaspoon. I say it's a pinch. So we're just going to give it. A little bit more than that. You can eliminate the salt entirely if you're on a low salt diet. Um, lemon and uh, lime do take over for the salt flavor in a lot of foods, in vinaigrettes and in salads, um, and even with fish. You don't need to add salt to fish. When you make fish, you can squeeze some lemon on it, and it, it works beautifully. It's really pretty, very pretty dish. I think of it as refreshing. You know, the colors are there, it's it summer, really and it just, just feels light to me whenever I eat it. Now we go into guacamole, or as we call it in our family, we always go, where's the guac? <laughs> where's the guac, right? And we start off with avocados. Avocados have, are high-calorie food, but they're very healthy food, too. A lot of vitamin C, 
the monounsaturated fats as well. And they're really from the Mexico to Guatemala area. Basically, so you're just going to cut it. You're going to slide the, light, the um, knife around the avocado all the way around, and you're going to twist. And these are beautiful because they're nice and ripe. And we're going to scoop out the avocado right into the bowl. It comes out very easily when they're ripe. You don't want to get these too hard because they're difficult to work with. And lemon and lime juice, when you use it over um, things like avocado, will, pre will prevent the browning of the avocado. First you mash. Put this right this is a half of a red onion. And the jalapeno is hot, but the heat in a jalapeno is the seeds the seeds mm -hmm. in here. Take the, the seeds out. So this is what it looks like. And you're going to chop you're this up, which is already done. In. And the next ingredient. Two Roma tomatoes. Two Roma tomatoes. And we or plum tomatoes. Finely diced. And my favorite, again, is the cilantro. And I'm folding everything in. And when you make this dish, it's, it's better to make this about an hour before company. We're using uh, corn tortillas for our chips. You could use what you like, quite frankly, whatever you feel comfortable no with. No gluten. But this is gluten-free. So if and you're so on a gluten-free diet, you can use this. But another thing you can do, there are people who don't want any of carbohydrates. They don't want um, the, the gluten uh, or the corn and the oil. You can certainly use things like rainbow carrot chips. You can use raw broccoli. You could use turnip slices, which a lot of people don't do. But this, a turnip gives you almost like a gentle onion flavor, not nearly as hot, but it's very flavorful. And you can use this for dipping. And this will be a completely vegetarian snack. Avocado oil, for two reasons. One, because we're using the avocado for guacamole anyway. But we're using the oil, basically, it really keeps the heat in, and it doesn't burn as fast. It doesn't burn as quickly. It's a high heat. And again, it's, it's, it's monounsaturated fat, so it's healthy. I'm putting in one clove of garlic, okay? And that's the last ingredient in this. So we have the tortillas like this. We put several of them together for the chips, and you cut them like you're cutting a pizza. When we're cooking the chips, when we take them out of the pan, we're going to put them on a paper towel. And there, the reason for that is we want the oil, excess of oil to dry off on here as well. They will come out very much like that. Right. Um, and we also pair it with our virgin margarita. But if you decide you don't want the alcohol in a margarita, but you'd like the taste, it's, it pairs perfectly with chips and homemade guacamole and salsa. The whole thing can be done in such a short amount of time, and it's all you need for a get-together. Can you smell that? It's so delicious. Like any good chef, I can't wait. Now the virgin margaritas are actually nothing but orange juice, limeade. Limeade is so easily made by squeezing limes and using simple syrup. What is simple syrup? It's two tablespoons of sugar mixed with two tablespoons of warm water so that it dissolves and then a cup and then you fill the cup to the top with water. That's simple syrup. You just put that in. If you don't want the sugar, you can eliminate the sugar. And our seltzer, which should be lime or lemon. A toast, the summer fun. Toast, summer fun, and health.